this day, 43 years ago, Mount St. Helens erupted, shooting out rocky debris, scalding steam and gas, sweeping down the volcano's slope at more than 683 miles an hour and also into the air at temperatures of 572 degrees. That eruption killed 57 people, wiped out 200 houses and 4 billion board feet of trees. While the volcano is located way over in southwestern Washington, its eruption impacted places far away. Some of the 540 million tons of ash released from the eruption hit North Idaho, like the town of St. Mary's. Former KTVB reporter Bob Cooper went there days later to find out how the small town was handling the historic event. Some of the thickest layers of volcanic fallout landed in the North Idaho community of St. Mary's. Eight days later, the first National Guard trucks arrived. Some folks in St. Mary's think the Guard should have been here much sooner. They're about at the end of their rope and their resources when it comes to coping with volcanic fallout. Even the rain hasn't helped much. In some places, ash has washed down hills and compacted into muddy drifts several inches deep. And as soon as the rain stops, the ash dries and becomes blowing dust again. People cleaning up at the St. Joe Valley Clinic say the government hasn't done much to help. We got more than Spokane did, and they were declared a disaster before we were, so. And this stuff is terrible to work with. State Senator Cy Chase is another St. Mary's resident who isn't happy with the government's performance. The Senate think? Minority Leader says top National Guard officers insisted last week that the Guard couldn't do much to help. There's the question uh, now, as uh, far as I'm concerned, they can do a lot, uh, but at first they indicated they didn't have any equipment, but now uh, they seem to tell us they do have equipment. And uh, I think that uh, if they come in here now and uh, start cleaning up uh, on the back streets and, uh, and some of the aprons of the pavements around here, they can. there's a lot they can do if they want to. Chase is upset that Governor John Evans waited three days to visit North Idaho. He thinks that was too long. Chase says once the governor from southern Idaho could see for himself that there was a real problem in northern Idaho, help was on its way. I think it's time, though, that they realize that, uh, you know, that northern Idaho exists and that we help to pay uh, the taxes up here and help support the state as well as the southern part of the state. But despite their frustration, people here are doing their best to clean up St. Mary's. And just as the volcanic fallout is clinging to the town, the town is clinging to its sense of humor. Bob Cooper reporting from St. Mary's for Newsbeat 7. Ah, yes, Newsbeat 7, precursor to the 208, by the way. One of the many sights to see in the 43-year-old film that you just watched there, including, did you notice, notice Bob's bell-bottom jeans? And how about the paper boy taking a swing at the other kid along the fence? Scientists say Mount St. Helens erupted was, the eruption was monumental in advancing technology used in predicting tectonic activity. Scientists, they call them volcanologists, they studied Mount St. Helens in the years after the eruption. They could make accurate predictions of individual eruptions thereafter. And by the way, Mount St. Helens, she's still active with her most recent eruption back in 2008.